Okay, let's examine a few, a few uh, great open string licks that you could utilize in the exact progression I was just playing. Okay? And I might in fact have played some of these very same kind of phrases. Okay, so I've written some on the board here. So these could be in the key of G or even in the key of E blues. Okay, so check it out. I haven't written rhythms because you can play these in a variety of different rhythm styles, but you can see what I've got here. Right away, I'm pulling off to the open G. Now I wrote quarter here as what I mean is I want a little bend here. I like that triplet feel at the beginning of that. So I'm not even using my, my fingers this time, I'm just, just picking. But this means that you pull off to the notes. So also, you can use that there if you want it as well. Um, but it's better in G, I think. Okay, let's go to another lick here. Let's see how this one sounds. going down G major pentatonic again. Yeah, I'm bending it up to the B flat. That's what I wrote half here. Because from the A, you bend up to the B flat. You feel it as, as triplets too. as eighth notes. Okay. So you can just practice doing all of those pull-offs in that position. Remember, I'm bending up a half step on this one, so it's making it a little bit more bluesy. Actually, you know what? My bad. That just means that re you release to the second. That's supposed to be a two. So it could be E. That's a great one for E. Okay, this is a really cool one. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, what do we have here? We have six. Now that I'm moving up into this position now. Okay, so we're definitely in minor pentatonic. Okay, so we've got six pulling off down to the D which is basically F down to D. Yeah, that's what we want to do there. And we do the same thing down a set of strings, but now we start from the five. So we have this. And then one more string down. Bend, I kind of take this and like to bend it a little bit. I like to just take these two together and really just riff that out. That's a real classic kind of a Jeff Beck sound. Okay, so when you combine these together, you really get a lot of vocabulary happening. Okay, 
Okay, so let's see if I can combine them again a little bit. Maybe I'll give you guys a chance to play along. I'm going to slow this down though, so it's not quite as blinding as fast here. How about that? Eh, I'll even turn off that cheesy. How about that? So remember the progression here, guys, is just or girls back home. Use that and let's see if we can get some of these licks in, in here. Okay, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. You're playing with me, right? I'm gonna help you out this time. Okay, I'm gonna play lick number one. Here we go. Do it again. Do it twice. That worked okay. Let's do it again. Let's try this one right here. Uh, Exactly, but let's try it a little bit more exact. That's it. Okay. So, you know, you can play around. Once you learn the technique of pulling off these licks, you can combine them and you can kind of vary the rhythm a lot too, right? You don't want to always play them the same way. You can mix up the rhythm in a lot of different ways. So, um, this this last lick really is more a minor sound than a major sound. So it doesn't work as well at the be at the beginning. It might work okay on the C chord, but it would definitely work okay when we go to the D chord. So let me see how that would work. Okay. So here's the major licks. So there's a lot of different things you can do with these pull-off phrases, okay? And that's just that's just using them in kind of licks. Imagine if you start doing that stuff in chords and things like that. You know, there's a world of things you can do with open strings and chords. To just the simplest chord that you could play like this with open strings comes to life, right? If you just took these two notes right here, but you moved them into a different register, and then you use open strings. So we're going to talk about open strings and other lessons, okay, with chords as well. But we're going to have a whole other course on chords that we're going to talk about in another series of lessons. But right now we're mostly talking about single string stuff. So that's why we're uh, exposing it more, more or less in licks, okay. And um, going back to one of our previous jams, remember this one? It's in the G range, right? Okay, so I'm going to use some of the open string licks in this.
right? Do it again. Double it. Double it. Triple it. Okay, so some of these things kind of fall into the category of riffs, like some of the other things that we've learned, because they do are repetitive and they create a certain fast energy to your soloing. But I just thought that the open strings today would be a fun thing to work on. All right, so rock and roll out, and we'll see you next lesson. Thanks for tuning in.